I am hoping that this episode we get the Mars backstory that I wanted last episode because he was having flashbacks or memories of someone. And this episode's called Memories of You. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover episode 18, Memories of You. Last episode, Asta went ham on Mars, just straight. The Mala Klaus was like, how is this man so fucking crazy? You know, it's like, man, with perseverance and hard work, you really can get through any situation. I mean, I don't want to say any situation, but a lot of situations. Never give up is the message of that last episode, for sure. But I'm not going to waste any time. I really wanted to get in this episode, so I'm going to cut it short. Remember, guys, if you guys want early access to the next bunch of episodes I upload and or full length to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, full episode, everything in the corner. You want to watch it? Check out that Patreon down below. It's always an option for you guys. And if you guys want to support me, and Patreon's not really your thing, if you could just leave a like and a nice comment down below, trust me, it means more than you know. Trust, trust, trust me. Other than that, follow me on Twitch and on Twitter for the live streams and for the updates. I'll see you guys in this episode. Black Clover episode 18. Ooh, we're finally at the, the treasure room. Are we all gonna do it together? Because technically we all helped out. Oh, it's like a steel, steel binding. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's that's a big thing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and we're back to our typical self. Aw, mimosa is so nice. That's a good question, Noel. You don't want to just keep staring at him? Okay. Oh my god. Well, excuse me, Lord Four Eyes. I'm just dying to see what's inside at this point. I want to see what kind of rare items, rare magical things. Oh, I don't even know. Come on, Nero, help us out. Okay. Oh, wow. It actually is filled to the brim with riches and glory. Oh, my lord. Let's say you discover one of these on your own. Let's say you're not necessarily affiliated with any of the... You're just a lone magic knight. You're a lone mage out there who's very powerful, and you run across this you're by yourself. Oh, that's cool. You can be set for the rest of your life. Like, literally, all you need is one dungeon, and you're set. These magical items are cool, though. I'm so curious what they do. Yeah, he's not wrong there. How do I feel like this is like Zelda and it's Navi bringing fucking you know somewhere, and that somewhere is gonna be to something important? Why does it feel like he's being drawn in towards that? Yeah, don't just be opening random scrolls. Maybe it's me. I've played too many video games and seen too many animes. Yeah, you know, just end of the world. Confirm. He's getting all the infinity stones right now. I'm saying. Theoretically, someone else could have grabbed that and done something as a preventative measure to save the symbols. Those symbols could have told us how to save the world from Ragnarok. We don't know. Oh, I think Nero's bringing him somewhere. He only does that. Oh, definitely bringing him somewhere. Wow, he has some sort of magic that lets it go back to him. Oh, he's back. Yep, back in full armor. Wow, he was really able to pull his grimoire back like he was using the Force. Flame recovery magic? 
Yeah, this is literally the info I was wanting to get. I'm so glad I wanted this information and they're giving me this information. That's all I'm going to say. But I'm assuming before we get into this that it has something to do with the fact that his grimoires are stitched apart. If I had to make a wild guess, he is diamond or crystal. The girl in his past is fire and something happened. She died and he wanted to take on her memory. Something like that. I just wanted to throw the dapper prediction before we get this. Four classes. Fire, wind, water, and earth. Also makes sense. Yeah, that is true. Normally you'd have your speciality, your your class, kind of. That's a, man, Klaus is really war- Thank you, man, for putting it like that. This is literally that Gara and his uncle. This is literally exactly what that's like. 110% what that's like. Jesus. Yeah, you don't do that in front of Asta. Oh, I got chills right there. That scream, that was pretty good. Now he's on the defensive. Yep. See? Oh, he broke through it. I thought he was gonna like hit it with his head and like activate its special fucking magic power or something. He's just kind of chanting this to himself to keep himself in that killer focus serious. I'm going to murder everyone mindset. Because I feel like he, I don't want to say he's lightening up, but he's definitely having some emotional struggles due to seeing friends try to protect their friends. Princess healing flower robe. So this one's different from the cradle. Is this one more intense than the cradle? Oh, she puts a robe on herself. Oh, that is fucking awesome. Yeah, that w see, she has different le- Oh, that's so cool. But it would obviously is taking way more magic from her, you know, costing way more. But, like, I love how you have, like, the little thing that heals you a little bit. And you have that ability that you really only use when, like, when you're about to die. Wow. So this is- They've really known each other since they were real young. She's been calling her slow for years. Yeah. So I was literally just about to say that throughout Mimosa's childhood growing up, she always looked up to Noelle as a friend, as someone she knew. Just typical girl, typical kid stuff. You just look up to the people, you know, they're the big kids. You look, but growing up, then she's like, wow. Then they, she's exceedingly, I don't want to say, what's the word I'm looking for? Patted on the back because of her talent that she's been born with. And then, you know, so, uh, Noelle is the exact opposite. So now, due to nothing but you know latent ability you know she's being fucking she's being segregated from her family and mimosa's being you know like applauded being praised for you know so it's kind of crazy it has nothing to do with personality you know it's it's, it's not cool it sucks vermilion's other true uh -uh. I can understand that. There has to be a certain level of respect. Royals mock hard work. Exactly. Yeah, it's all pure latent ability, you know? Exactly. I'm so glad Mimosa is actually able to see these, though. She's, she's using a third-person perspective to see these things. I'm glad. I appreciate that so much, because that's, that's, you know, that's so nice. Especially someone from one of like Asta or Yuno wouldn't be able to say that because they weren't born royalty into her. She knows exactly what she's going through. I really appreciate that. You have to do something, Asta. You gotta protect. It is very big and heavy. Come on, Nero. Nero's gonna tell us something. Give us the fucking. He's gonna go into the actual. This treasure room, whatever. That's a different sword. That is a different sword. We got a different sword. <laughs> Makes a whole lot of sense as to why he has two powers, you know? His and then hers, yeah. So, also a magic cutting sword as well. But if I had to assume lighter and faster. 
Yeah, much smaller. It's a one-handed blade. I mean, it's technically a two-handed blade, but he can do, definitely do it one-handed for sure. It's not like the Berserker blade, the other one, where you, you can't do that one-handed. You have to do two. Stupid stuff. Come on. Hurry up and do it. Beat him. Bro, Noelle's really waifu. Like, that is so wild. She is so... Er What's <laughs> what's gonna happen? What's going on? Wow, he was able to send a projectile like he's able to attack from afar a Knife air blade. Yeah, I was gonna say that's kind of like not magic, but temporary magic Oh, it's water. It's specifically water. Oh, <gasps> Noel imbued it with no oh, That's so fucking cool he can borrow powers? He can borrow magic? Oh my god, imagine he's like, you know, give me some- Oh my god, that is so cool. Oh, he also got a shard. Uh-huh. Well, damn, why you gotta ruin my hypeness, man? That was such a cool sword. Well, finally got a lot of the answers I was looking for. How I, w I would love to know the specialities as well, because it, it seems as if only each maid should have one affinity. You know, fire, wind, earth, or fire, water, earth, or wind. But then my question is, where do we get, like, what is Klaus's affinity? And then how does that translate into steel? You know, like, where do we get that? Like, I don't, like, I'm totally down for sub subsequent powers, you know? It's like sub powers. Um, just like Avatar Last Airbender, how you have fire bending, then that leads to, oh, sorry, I hit the mic, guys. That probably was hella loud. How you have, like, fire bending, and that leads to lightning bending. And then water bending, that leads to blood bending. Earth bending, that leads to metal bending, you know? Air doesn't have anything, but that's, you know, it's air, you know, it's whatever. Air's awesome. But, uh... I, I, I want to know more. I'm glad they gave me that, though. I'm definitely thankful. I'm almost positive that based off what Klaus said, how this looks like two grimoires stitched together and how he's able to use two magic affinities is definitely something happened to where him and the girl were for homies. They were going through it. Some one of the higher ups ordered her to. I don't know something. It was like Gara. And is that was that Gara's uncle? Excuse me on my Naruto lack of information. But you know me sometimes. Yeah, it was. It was definitely Garo's uncle. I'm pretty sure it was his mom's brother, right? Or his... Yeah, yes. It was definitely his mom's brother who um, was ordered by his father to kill him and uh, tried to. Didn't work out. Gar but like, it's just like so similar to this. I love it. He's interesting to me. His powers are cool. I love the flame. Like, flame... Or, like... I would just assume naturally that flame magic would be an offensive type of magic, just like Avatar last night. It's very offensive, you know? But the fact that they have flame recovery robe and the fact that like Mimosa just happened to be like born a recovery mage. And it's like, so he has not, he's not only OP because he can use crystal or diamond magic and fire. He has diamond offensive, super heavy attacking and then recovery defensive magic as well. That's super dope, super dope. But I love the Mimosa Noel little backstory. I love Mimosa's admiration and respect for Noel because, like, getting shunned by, I don't want to say your people, because, I mean, they technically are your people, but they don't give a fuck about you. Getting shunned by your people does suck ass, though. So I'm glad that Mimosa is somewhat there and understands and empathizes for her in certain ways, which I, I, I respect. I appreciate, should I say. But I'm going to end the episode on that note. I appreciate you, Dapper Squad. I got to go take a shower and get ready for the day. I will see you guys later. Peace out so much. I said peace out so much. Thank you so much. Peace out, you guys. I'll see you.